From New Jersey's most listened to station, here's your weekend flash briefing from New Jersey 101.5. I'm Eric Scott. Here's a look at the top trending stories this weekend at NJ1015.com. Is your Amazon driver legit? Is he there to drop off your order or steal your stuff? Police in Tom's River are alerting the public about a wave of imposters who look like they're making a delivery, but they're actually there to steal packages that have already been delivered. The thieves are impersonating Amazon, FedEx, UPS drivers. Here's a big tip-off. If the delivery guy is using his own vehicle instead of a marked company van, he might be an imposter. There has been a lot of concern about these giant flying spiders that could be making their way to New Jersey. Many exaggerated news reports out there, so we reached out to the guy who inadvertently started all of this panic with a study that he released late last year. He basically says, go on, go outside, there's no reason to worry. David Coyle's report says Joro spiders can survive in the northeast U.S., but we have no idea of knowing when or if they'll actually make it there. Juro spiders are not known to be in New Jersey. They came from Asia and they do have populations in Tennessee, Georgia and the Carolinas. As long as it's not inadvertently moved by people, it's going to be a while before they get to New Jersey. Juro spiders are venomous, but they're not harmful to humans or pets, Coyle says. Dean Alflamia, New Jersey 101.5 News. I think I can speak for all of us to say... Whew, what a relief. New Jersey's First News is now on Facebook and Instagram. Every morning I tell you what you need to know to start your day in a short video. Just like and subscribe. It'll be included in your news feed. You can also enable your app alerts on our mobile app, and it'll be sent right to your phone. There's another measles case in New Jersey. State health officials warning anybody who may have been at the emergency room at Princeton Medical Center in Plainsboro in the afternoon on June 1st may have been exposed. The person who has the measles is from Somerset County and apparently got it during an overseas trip. This is the second confirmed measles case in New Jersey this year. With school out and summer in, more teens are on the road. That could be risky this travel season. AAA has coined the window of time we're in as the 100 deadliest days. The period between Memorial Day and Labor Day. And why it's so dangerous is this is the time of year when we see fatal crashes involving teen drivers bikes. Records show 257 teen drivers were involved in fatal crashes in New Jersey. From 2013 to 2022, 283 of them were fatalities. AAA Northeast warns behind-the-wheel behaviors among teens like texting, running red lights, and speeding are leading contributors to risky driving. You may get a clearer idea of how much that job pays even before you apply for it. An assembly committee last week gave initial approval to a bill requiring any business with 10 or more employees to post a salary range with any job opening. Sponsors of the bill say it would prevent you from wasting your time applying for jobs that don't pay what you're looking for. An absolutely gorgeous home in Mercer County that is also a piece of U.S. history has now gone on the market. After finishing his second term in the White House, President Grover Cleveland brought his young family back to his home state of New Jersey. The six-bedroom, seven-bathroom Princeton house with multiple fireplaces was dubbed Westland. The home built in 1856 is listed with Sotheby's Realty for just shy of $6 million. It became a National Historic Landmark in the 1960s. Aaron Vogt, New Jersey, 101.5 News. Now, New Jersey perspectives. As a candidate, and even as governor, Phil Murphy promised unprecedented government transparency. He has provided anything but, from refusing to reveal everything from dark money donors to a political group he controls, to how many documented immigrants the state is housing, much of what the Murphy administration does, why it does it, and how they do it is shrouded in secrecy. Murphy has made it even harder for the media and the public to gain access to information, signing a new law that guts the Open Public Records Act. It is now harder to get things like budget documents, government salaries, agency receipts and correspondence. Even social justice groups and unions who have strongly supported Murphy urged him not to sign the bill, but he did anyway. Who is the state's most popular former governor? An FDU poll finds New Jersey's most recent leaders aren't getting much credit. The top of the list are governors who served some time ago, you know, Tom Kane and Brendan Byrne. Pollster Dan Casino says governors in the past were dealing with a less polarized electorate and had more support from the other party than any governor today could. 
It is a tragic story, but it's also a sad reminder that we need to keep our kids safe around backyard pools. The parents of two siblings pulled from a backyard pool in Monroe were removed from life support last week. It ended their lives. Doctors said the boy and girl would likely never recover. The mom told Fox Philadelphia the brother and sister were playing a game in the pool, taking turns under the water to see who could hold their breath the longest. What is your favorite beach in New Jersey? You have a chance to dethrone Ocean City from being considered New Jersey's best beach. Once again, the New Jersey Sea Grant Consortium wants you to vote for the best beach in the state. Ocean City won the last three contests going back to 2021, but anything can happen this time around. The consortium will choose an overall winner and a winner in each county. Each device only gets one vote. The last day to cast your virtual ballot is June 30th. Find the form to vote on our website, nj1015.com. Rick Rickman, New Jersey 101.5 News. Stay tuned to New Jersey 101. Five all weekend long for the latest New Jersey weather, traffic, and breaking news. Make sure you enable all the New Jersey 101.5 skills on your Alexa devices. We add more all the time. And all of our content available anytime. Just go to nj1015.com and click on demand. That's a look at the top trending stories this weekend. Join me Monday morning for New Jersey's First News. We're live on air at 530. And stick around and talk Jersey with Bill Spadia at 6 on New Jersey 101.5.